Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about the definition of the derivative. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, y equals a negative 4x squared minus 5x minus 2, and we have to uh, find the derivative of this using the definition of the derivative. So our definition tells us that f prime of x here is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of our function, right here our function, but instead of an x, we have an x plus h in there. So we have a negative 4, x plus h here, squared minus 5, x plus h, and a minus 2. Now we have to subtract that by our function itself. A minus 4x squared minus 5x minus 2 right there. And that's all over an h. Well, let's go simplify what we can in the numerator and see if we can cancel some things out. So we have the limit here as h approaches 0. Now, we have a negative 4, and this whole x plus h all squared, hopefully you have practiced this enough, as an x squared plus a 2xh plus an h squared. And then that's minus. Well, let's distribute the minus 5 out here while we're there. Minus a 5x minus a 5h minus 2, right? Now we have a minus, a minus, so we have plus a 4x squared, distribute that over, and then plus a 5x, and then, well, plus a 2. All of that is over, just an h. <sighs> All this busy work here. Now, the last thing I have to distribute in the numerator is just this 4, negative 4, across right there. So let's again take the limit as h approaches 0 of a negative 4x squared. Negative 4 times 2 is a negative 8xy, and the negative 4h squared here. Now minus a 5x. Uh, oh, I messed up right here. See, if you saw that, let me know. This is an h, right? Negative 5 to the x, negative 5 to the h. Almost messed up there. But it's okay, we all make mistakes, and I'm bringing everything else over here, hopefully with no more mistakes. That'd be bad. And divided by h. Now that lonely little h there holding everything up. All right, best part of the whole thing here, let's cancel what we can. 4x squared, negative 4x squared, they cancel. Easy, negative 2 and positive 2, cancel. Uh, negative 5x and 5x cancels, and that's it in the numerator. Now watch this cool little thing. Let's not get too, take your time here. If you need pause, take a look at this. All that's left is a negative 8xh minus 4h squared minus a 5h. There's an h in the denominator. If we cancel that out, take one h out of every term here, and the h is now out of the denominator. So let me put that up here, we have some room. And we still have the limit as h approaches zero, but it's much smaller now, a minus 8x, minus a 4h, and then minus 5. And that's it left over, right? A 4h, see, I keep doing that. That's a, see, that's a mistake. That's, you gotta be careful with that. I put an x, again, should be an h. If you, again, if you caught that, let me know in the comment section. Uh, right here. Well, now we can take the limit. We can directly plug in h in, or zero for h. In doing so, we have negative 8x minus 4 times a 0 minus a 5. Well, 4 times a 0, you should notice by now, is a 0. So we have a negative 8x minus a 5, and guess what? That's our derivative. That's our dy dx right here. That is our f prime of x, or y prime. So our final answer here is a negative 8x minus 5. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.